a packet is a basic unit of communication over a digital network we have two types of packets first an empty packet and second a filled packet an empty packet is a data packet which is empty and requires data so that it could be transmitted over the internet a packet which is ready to transfer or receive data over the internet is called a filled packet a filled data packet consists of a header a payload and a trailer the header consists of sender's ip address receiver's ip address protocol and packet number the payload consists of the data which we want to send over the internet the trailer consists of the data to show end of packet and it also helps in error correction the typical size of a header is 96 bits the size of payload depends on the size of our data and the typical size of a trailer is 32 bits have you ever imagined that what happens when you browse a website or send an email how did the information go from one computer to the next and in turn goes through all the various devices in order to reach its destination once a website is invoked an empty packet gets filled and thousands of such packets are created the data packets are then sent to our firewall which strictly checks the data packet for errors and malwares if the data packet passes through the firewall then it is ready to go to the world of internet but if the data packet is unable to pass through the firewall then it is destroyed by the firewall the data packet then go to the proxy server proxy server can work with the firewall to add an extra level of protection against threats from within a network position between the machine on a network and application server a proxy can add an extra level of scrutiny to outgoing data request the forward proxy can reject any suspicious or dangerous request before forwarding them to the internet network decreasing the likelihood that the network will allow any connection that could compromise the network security the data packet then goes to a router from our router the data packet enters the world of internet in the world of internet the data packet goes from one router to another until it reaches its destination through a specified gateway the data packets are then checked by the server's firewall the data packet which are able to pass through the server's firewall are then analyzed by the server for our request the server processes our request to open the website and transmit us back the home page of the website in form of thousands of data packets these data packet then again travel back to us through the world of internet to our router the data packet then again goes to our firewall for checking for malware and virus a healthy data packet is able to pass through the firewall whereas a data packet that contains virus or malware is blocked by the firewall if the data packets are able to pass through the firewall then our website opens woohoo sometimes 
due to heavy traffic on the website accident happens between the data packets and you know what happens the website crashes similarly when we send an email to someone the data packets which are able to pass through our firewall enters the world of internet and travel through thousands of different routers to a specified gateway to reach the destination